Hi, uh, my name's uh, Liam Donaghy um, and I've been asked by Film Trip to demo the PAW sensor from pawsensor.com. Uh, this sensor is a 5 volt, uh, five volt sensor, there's a 3 volt version as well. Um, the sensor is actually plugged into an Arduino board um, and there's a shield on top and the shield is using an, XB, an XBS1 processor. Um, so these are, this data has been sent wirelessly um, to this and then it, it travels in through USB into uh, the processing program. This processing program is a processing pro program from PawSensor.com. I've actually adapted it and I've sent information to Max, uh, Max MSB. Um, so my pause route is coming through um, and then I can route it um, to, anywhere, to anywhere else. Um, I've done three examples of, of something useful you can do with the data. Um, the first example is when I wrote the data out to uh, an iPhone app, I've written an iPhone app that, that listens for, for open sound control messages and it's basically pulsing um, an image, making it bigger or smaller. Um, again, it's a demo how the data can be sent to an app. The Xbox Connect um, uses uh, infrared sensors. Um, in this case here, I'm actually creating a point cloud. Um, and I'm using my heart rate to actually pulse um, the visuals. Um, but you could also use a heart rate to, to bring the, the visuals through. There's a, this is just a, a simple example. Um, you could use it to actually change the color, color of the visuals as well. Um, so this is, this is the second example. Um, the third example is actually using um, a DMX light. Uh, these lights are DMX 512. They've got depth switches on the back. Um, so you, this is an example of fixture, um, but you can have smoke haze machines or um, strobes, uh, so you can hook up as many lights as you want it. Um, this is the 512 uh, interface. Uh, this is, a D, is an MTEC DMX USB Pro. Um, this connects you into your DMX universe, um, and information can be sent from my, my computer um, to, to the actual lighting rig. Um, it's just a, a run through um, of how things work. Um, the data is coming in, in on the Arduino. Um, it's been sent by the XP uh, to the process in Java. Um, and then the data has been sent to Max. Max is basically the heart um, of it's what I use for written information. From Max, then I can go to um, the DMX512 for the Connect or the iPhone Android. Um, and basically, that is a workflow and also. You can send information anywhere on the web. It could be a Facebook API, um, Twitter API. It could be sent anywhere um, uh, across the web. So this is uh, an example of sending the sensor data um, out through the Antec USB Pro to 512 Lite. Um, so Max is basically uh, using a line object and it's passing data um, out, to the, out to pulse the light. Uh, so my, my pattern is actually coming through, coming through um, the LED power light. Um, so you should see it slightly pulse there, but it's only using one channel. Um, there's an R RGB uh, three channels in that light, so, but basically it's just a demo um, how you control one of them. Okay, uh, thanks for watching the demo of the Pulse Sensor from PulseSensor.com. Um, if you want to find out any more information, you can visit my site at www.opifexarts.com um, or you can visit Sensum.co, um, which is Film Trips uh, Research into Emotional Sensors. Um, thanks for watching.